This video is demonstrating how to graph a linear equation using substitution. My equation here is y equals 2x plus 1, and I want to set up an xy table that I'll use to substitute for the x to find the y. Once I have about four ordered pairs, I can go ahead and graph those and find my straight line that this creates. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up my xy table. Doesn't have to be fancy just a little place to keep track of what your x and your y values are. Using this method, I'm going to use substitution, and that's where I can choose the value of x. I can choose any number I want, but since we're using such a small little graph to go back and graph it, using smaller values would probably be for the best. I'm going to go ahead and choose the numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3. So 0, 1, 2, and 3. And what I'm going to do is solve this equation four times by replacing the x with one of these numbers. This is substitution. So y equals 2. Instead of x, I'll use 0 from my chart. So y equals 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1. So y equals 1. Since I used 0, then the answer for y goes right below. Go ahead and do the next one. Repeat the process. y equals 2x plus 1. This time I'll replace the x with a 1. So y equals 2 times 1 plus 1. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1. So y equals 3. So because I used 1, the matching answer then is 3. For the next one, again, repeat the same process. So y equals 2. Instead of x, I'll use 2 plus 1. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1, y equals 5. By now you can start to see the process. Uh, these are increasing by 1 each time and these are increasing by 2. So 5 plus 2 will give me 7. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and graph these points on my graph. Um, I'm going to use my xy table that I created. This is where I keep track of my ordered pairs. I always start at 0, 0. The, my first order pair is 0, 1. The x indicates how much I move to the right or to the left, and the y indicates how much I move up or down. Starting at 0, 0, I'm going to go over 0 and up 1 and put a point. Going back to 0, 0, I graph my next pair. My next pair is over 1 and up 3. 1, 2, 3. Start again at 0, 0. My next order pair is 2, 5. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, put a point, and 3, 7. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I should be able to see that it looks like these dots are increasing at a constant rate and are moving into a straight line. I'm just going to eyeball it and go ahead and draw a straight line through the points. Very important that you draw the arrows at the end because we're talking about a line. If I just connected the dots and didn't extend it and use the arrow, I'd actually be talking about a line segment and not a line. Lines go on and on forever, which is why there are arrows on either end of them. So this is the graph of this equation, y equals 2x plus 1. This method works for any particular equation you're trying to graph, such as this one here, 2x plus y equals 3. Again, the same process. I'm just going to set up an xy table. Nothing fancy, just a place to keep my values together. And again, because my graph is little, I don't want to use very, very big numbers because it would be more difficult to graph. So I'm going to choose the numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3. You can also choose negative numbers for the x's. Uh, it depends on your personal preference or what the question is asking you to do. Again, I'm going to take out the x and replace it with these numbers, and it will tell me the value of y. The first time I'm going to use a 0. 2 times 0 plus y equals 3. 2 times 0 is 0 plus y equals 3. And because this is 0, y is then 3. So when x is 0, y is 3. Repeat the process. 2x plus y will equal 0, well, I'm sorry, will equal 3. So 2 times, instead of x, I will use a 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus y equals 3. To get this y alone and tell me its value, I have to move this 2 to the other side of the equal sign. Since it's a positive 2, I'll use a negative 2. 
minus. This goes away. 3 minus 2 is 1. Put it back in my chart. 2x plus y equals 3. This time I'm substituting a 2. 2 times 2 is 4 plus y equals 3. Since this is a positive 4, to move it to the other side of the equal sign, I must use its opposite, negative 4. This cancels. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Negative 1 in my chart. 2x plus y equals 3. My last value is 3. So 2 times 3 plus y equals 3. 2 times 3 is 6 plus y equals 3. To get the y by itself, I'm going to subtract the 6 to move it to the other side of the equal sign. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. Go ahead and put that last value in my chart. And now I'm going to graph it. Again, we always start graphing at 0, 0. So from 0, 0, I'm going to go over 0 and up 3. 1, 2, 3. Put a dot. My next point is 1, 1. Over 1, up 1. Put a dot. My next one is 2, negative 1. 1, 2. And down 1, since it's negative. And my next one is 3, negative 3. So over 1, 2, 3. And down 1, 2, 3. Again, I can see from this point, it's drawing and indicating a straight line, which makes me know that I did it right. I'm going to go ahead and draw my line in. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. We have arrows on either end because we're talking about a line that goes on and on forever. And this is how I use substitution to graph a linear equation.